So today I'm going to do something a little different here. Um, with ice fishing approaching, everybody wants to go ice fishing, uh, including me. I'm going to do a little pre-ice fishing with no ice. That makes sense. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to grab, I got my Markham LX6 here. And some ice fishing jigs and some wax worms and some crawlers. Uh, a couple rods I got in my 36 inch Yogi custom rod, light action. Uh, using 13 long stem reels, and I got this other rod here. I bought it. I bought it for fishing tulabies and stuff a while back. This is a, was it 48 inch? Yeah, four foot. It's called a whipper rod. Thing will be perfect for these fish today. So, what I'm actually doing is I'm gonna, gonna fish for some panfish. You know, big bluegills is the plan. Um, I know a lot of people probably have done it, and I haven't before, using your, you know, your ice equipment for, uh, fishing. You know, it'd be good for, like, let's say you got, let's say you got your, your, your main unit on your boat, like I do, okay? I have my, my unit on my boat, and you want to go fish another lake that's difficult to get into, or, you know, you can't get your big boat into, and you gotta use a kayak, or a canoe, or a john boat, or whatever, Bring that unit with and just vertical jig over the edge of the boat. Um, the reason I'm using the short rods is because the unit's going to be only a couple feet from me. And if I'm using, let's say, my seven foot rod, that's going to work out very well. Because as we all know, when you're jigging, you know, your bait needs to be, you know, remotely close to the bottom of your transducer. So, anyway, going to grab some stuff. We're going to do this. All right, I'm gonna start out. I got a four millimeter jig here and a little wiper, a couple split shots on this rod here. See, you got my Markham there. It shows, uh, it shows six feet, but I'm kind of drifting around in anywhere from six to 10 feet. Those are what I would say. Here. Where's my bait? There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh my god, is this a bluegill? It is. Ha! Oh, it's a big crappie, you guys. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm going for bluegills and I get a big old crappie. Just smash that thing. Look at that. Oh no, there goes my. Can't have that. Seven feet of water. And this big crappie just smashed this thing. Wow. Crazy. Well, it's, I mean, it's not huge. It's probably 11 inch here. Wow. Seven feet of water. Just like that, you guys. I was expecting big bluegills. Oh. Ooh, there's another nice crappie. Oh, you guys. Boom. <laughs> let this guy go. It's another nice crappie, you guys. I mean, yeah, I'll have some, keep thinking about the giant bluegills, but tell you what, if I catch crappies like that, more crappies like that, maybe I should say. Another one. Ooh, there's, this feels like a nicer one, you guys. I gotta use back reel on this guy. This is probably a nine. This is probably our first. Ooh, there's a big one, you guys. Oh, finally a big, big, big dog. Holy crap. That is a nice bluegill, you guys. Oh. Definitely what we're looking for though. I'll flip this down so you can see it's probably nine incher. Ooh, nine and a quarter, almost nine and a half. That's a big bluegill. That's what we're looking for, you guys. 
Go, bud. All right. Yeah, I notice if I get up on the really shallow stuff here. a few crappies. Come on crappies. Work with us here. Oh, what do we got? Be a crappie. Be a crappie. Crappie, what do we got? Oh, it's a big crappie. I knew it. Oh, you guys. Bam. Another real nice crappie right up in that shallow stuff. Booyah, baby. What do we got? Another crappie? Oh, another one, you guys, right away. Boom. Look at this. Another one, right away. <laughs> oh, Lord. Talk about a good time. These are good eaters, too. I mean, that 11 inch crappie, you can't be 10, 11 inches. Can't, can't beat that. Another one? Just like that? Another one. What am I on, top, what am I on crappie having right now? It's three in a row. Oh, there we go, that'll be a crappie, I'll bet. We're just dragging. Yep, another nice crappie. Oh, just trying to stay around this weed patch over here. Just uh, got a four millimeter tungsten. That's the I think that's the white crappie color on this on the three northern jig. And just uh, little uh, chartreuse with black speckled viper in there. All right, guys, got the seam, got a tungsten on with a, with a little uh, wiper on it, but I got this 48 inch whipper rod. We're gonna give this a sh uh, the old college try once. This should be interesting. Oh, there's a fish. The bluegill. Hook right in the tip of the snout there. I'm gonna cast this out. We got big crappie. Got to be crappie. Oh, it's a nice one too, you guys. Oh, it's a tanker. Oh, if I can end on this guy, it'd be great. Up in there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Absolute giant, you guys. Last fish. Giant crappie. Look at that. I mean, that's probably a 12 incher. Oh, that's the one I was looking for. Well, I'm gonna get a quick picture of him, and I'm gonna let him go. We go, that big old crappie's going bye bye. Oh, whoa, wasn't graceful, but hey. 
Well, you guys, I'm going to call that a pretty good success. I uh, caught a few decent bluegills. Nothing real giant, probably nine and a half inches or somewhere on there. I can't remember, nine and a quarter. Um, got some big crappies, though, especially that last one. Man, that thing was a <laughs> perfect ender. Uh, yeah. My Marka Malik 6. My lithium shuttle. 36 inch Yogi Custom Rod. 13 long stem reels. Got this whipper rod with another 13 long stem. Just using some, some three northern jigs here with some of their plastics. Right here. Boom. Uh, I did try a couple wax worms, but I didn't catch any crappies on. All the crappies came off the soft plastics. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I'm trying to put more of them out. Especially with fall coming up. Lots of things going on. Can't wait. Anywhere, anyway, please like, share, share, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm trying to hit 20,000 subs and we're damn close to doing it, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Thank you.